Hello everyone, I am Dr. Saurabh. So we started the resident master class and it has been quite a time which uh, I started this uh, resident uh, lectures. So the purpose of this uh, small uh, video snippet, I told this while I was starting this course that what is the reason of this uh, lectures and the course. The main reasons were the better understanding of the concepts of ophthalmology so that you can prepare for your exams in writing as well as some points I told you which can help you in uh, your Viva exams as well and you can clinically apply the knowledge into your day to day, day to day resident life whether you are a first year, second year, third year resident. Today the purpose of making the video is specifically how to use this course year wise. So for first year resident I will start with. So just very naive to ophthalmology, very fresh to ophthalmology because in MBBS we don't tend to study much ophthalmology and you think that this subject is slightly difficult for you. So if uh, you are in a first year resident, what you should do in the course, each topic has been divided into various subsections. But a first year resident should start with the first module, first session on some investigations, embryo and the techniques. Here also I have given in specific, specific topics. I will give you one example today. Then you should see the optics session as well. So first optics refraction and the investigation section, embryo section you should see first. Then every clinical topic has been divided into various anatomy starting with anatomy physiology. So for a first year resident all you, of course you have to see everything as you go on in the residency but you start seeing anatomy and physiology first. Just see the anatomy physiology maybe of the lens, maybe glaucoma you see the dynamics, aqueous dynamics, physiology, you maybe see the evaluation of the optic nerve head, maybe you can see the investigation perimetry. Don't go with the clinical topics. For the first reason, just see the basic anatomy, physiology, basis histology of the retina for example. Just see the basics. Every topic, I am just giving some example, every topic has been divided into anatomy first. So first year resident should see the first and second modules, investigations, examinations, embryology, optic refraction and then every topic you see the anatomy, physiology first. Don't sit like a first year resident which is holding threads for second year residents. Second year residents are enjoying but for the second and third year, see when you go to third year, you will be in a lot of haste of doing everything together. So start, start studying from the first year itself. There is no syllabus. The more you study, the more benefit it will do. So the more early you are acquainted with what you have to do, it will help you in second years which you consider as a gala time and you don't have to stress your brains in the third year. Now for every resident, see for second and third year residents, I will tell you, of course you have to go with clinical topics but how to use this, see in your mobile phone you have an app eMedicos, these lectures are on eMedicos, you can click on the eMedicos, go on to the master class of residents. There are so many specialties, go with the ophthal, my name is there, you can see, you can click but that will give you only the orientation, all the modules which I have showed you. The videos will be there in the my course section. So in the main section you will see courses, my course and you will see your which you have taken, you will see only those course which you have taken so you can click on to the resident course ophthalmology and you can see various specialties and in each speciality so many splitting videos are being given. I have given them in numerical form, the one I took in the class first, second, third and so and you should also see in that sequence first and second mostly will be uh, anatomy and physiology. So for example for a second year, third year resident, resident if you have uh, seen for example how to make use of this. So everyone, first, second, third year resident, when you are done with anatomy physiology, you want to know the clinical topic. So for example, a second year resident or third year resident saw a patient of corneal ectasia keratoconus in the clinic. You come 
and just click on the corner lactasia keratoconus and then you can finish that topic in a specified uh, time how and you can uh, clinically apply your knowledge which you saw which science you saw in the clinic and what science can be there in the standard patient of keratoconus corneal lactasia patient and how will you manage the patient then you can go back to the opd of the same patient and you can see how can be the treatment what are the investigations you need to do whether it's available at your center doesn't matter you but you know the academics you can see the image goes in horizontal format you can change the speed also if you want to quickly see so every clinical topic is a split wise you are you have seen any dystrophy come and see the dystrophy topic you have seen infection of the cornea come and see which infection which signs you see and which infection you think is there you see that topic and finish that topic and always i tell residents to always please make the notes whether the first second third year please make notes because at the end of the third year you have to give exam that notes will help you a lot so first second third year resident you see the topic in the clinic and that is how you see the video or you read a book that will help you and write your notes that will help you to revise later on when you are in third year because there is no syllabus for first year also second year also third year also every ophthalmology is a one subject you have to do the same thing the more you do the more you will learn now you can go with various modules like retina acquired macular disorders splitting wise every topic can be there like orbit history taking very very important every topic in the orbit eyelids ptosis was a pre recorded i told you in a demo version it's available in my youtube channel as well you can see ptosis angiography ectropion and tropion that is available on youtube as well but on available in uh, emeticos as well cornea specific topics as i have told you uveitis neuropathal squint visual pathway first you should see the anatomy of the visual pathway the pupillary pathway the near pathway and then the implication of those pathways nerve palsies how the whether test for uh, squint how to approach a patient of optic nerve swelling optic neuritis optic atrophy motor sensory test for strabismus approach for incompetent various testings diplopia charting h chart spark three step test everyone is in a splitting so th you should know how to use this then you will be helpful uh, you, this uh, uh course can be helpful to you for understanding the subjects now ocular surface was the last uh, topic which i gave with lacrimal operators and now i'm going to start with tumors in a live session mostly will start in uh, may only the time i will tell uh, i will update the time ocular tumors we start with anatomy of the uveal tract with iris lesions cysts ciliary body tumor a very small topic but the choroidal tumors like melanoma all the differential diagnosis of choroidal tumors then retinal tumors chrpe conjunctival tumors ossn and some miscellaneous tumors as well we are going to cover in the ocular tumors module now it will be live and every live session will be available to you in a recorded version it has been available like now even ocular tumors will be live and then you can see in recorded version as well any time any time if you want to ask any doubt you are free to whatsapp me on my personal number directly to me on this number or you can ask me any questions on any of the social media platform i hope this uh uh course has been helpful for many of the students i hope it will be helpful in future as well any doubt don't feel shy to contact me there is a for those who have uh, enrolled already they know that there is a group in which you can ask any doubts or you can ask doubts personal as well best wishes to everyone thank you very much best of luck